Questions for our five uh, student athletes going through senior day tomorrow? Does it feel like the season, like preparations just began a couple weeks ago, or has it felt like a long year to anyone? I say preparation been started since August, since we first came in, went on the uh, Israel trip. So um, now the journey starts instead of preparation. But I mean, has it like settled in that like tomorrow's the last time? that you potentially be playing on this court? Uh, I don't think, for me personally, no, it hasn't really settled in. I haven't thought about it much. Uh, uh, for me, it was more in the beginning of the season, uh, like red, blue and stuff. But now we're just, you're just so focused on the next game and the, the, the schemes that we put in and stuff like that that you don't really have time to. The, the journey is just starting because I, I know you guys have really high aspirations and you know you got three more games left in the regular season and then tournament time but uh, is that what you mean by the journey? Yeah that's exactly what I mean um, it's March you know whether it's the end of the season in March or the the end of March where you're getting ready to go into the um, the uh, final eight final four um, so we just got to Get ready and, and take every game, take every game as it is that, that come before us. You know, we can't take no game for granted. Um, it's March. Anything can happen, you know. This when people start making weird, crazy buzzer beaters and all that. You know, you get that feeling around this time, you know. So we just got to go and try to come out with these three championships. John, does it feel different for you? Because uh, you graduated from San Diego State. I think you went through their ceremony last year, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here you are again. And are your loyalties kind of yet two different? pieces of you, uh, so to speak? I know you're focused on this season. For sure. Um, spending four years in San Diego, you know, that's that's like my second home. But here, uh, being a part of the, the Wildcat family, you know, it's going to be a, a even crazier environment, you know. Um, the way that Bear Down Nation just put on for everybody and the love that we got in Tucson is going to be crazy. So I can't wait to feel right here. Grant, uh, uh, what has it meant to you to play for this team coming from South Point? Uh, it means a lot, obviously, being from Tucson. You know, it's a dream of mine to come here and be able to do it. You know, it's crazy. It's coming to an end. Time flew by, you know, really fast, but I've loved every minute being here. What one follow-up? Has uh, Tommy said anything to you about possibly starting tomorrow? No, he hasn't said anything. Whatever he whatever he wants to do, he can do. You know, I'm more of a team guy than a me guy, so whatever he wants to do is fine. Do you have any expectation based upon how it would break the streak of the, the starters who have started this year? Are you aware of that at all? Yeah, I'm aware of it, but no, I don't really think about it. Great. I mean, to follow up on you know, Jason's <coughs> questions, there is a culture around Arizona basketball. You guys talk about it as a team all the time, and what it means to Southern Arizona, what it means to Tucson. And you guys grow up playing basketball here and thinking about you know, wearing the red and blue. How much does your journey, do you think, inspire guys in Tucson and the surrounding area to, to want to follow their dreams to play for the U of A? Yeah, you know, I think Tucson's not really known as a basketball city as much. And, you know, I think there's a lot of kids that are obviously Arizona's and basketball is the biggest thing in Tucson. So playing high school, playing AAU here, you know, I think it shows me and Big Well are kind of the first couple guys from Tucson to be able to come to Arizona to walk on. So I think it shows that it's possible, that, you know, it's capable too. Did you have a lot of basketball options coming out of high school? Yeah, I had smaller schools and, you know, other places to walk on, D2 and stuff, but... I thought that this would be obviously the best option. It's been my dream to come here. What do you consider your main role to be on a team? Like somebody who contributes to practice or somebody who helps with film or just be in there when, if you're needed? What do you consider your main responsibility and role to be? I'd say to help, help the guys out, you know, a scout, be there for them off the court, you know, support them. I obviously know, you know, I'm not going to play in games and stuff like that, so I can do anything off the court and in practice to help the guys. For, for the guys that have another potentially another year of eligibility, have any of you made a definitive decision what you plan on doing after this year? No. 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 Nah. I've been focused on winning the championship. We all, all right. been focused you, on winning the championship. Too. Yeah, no, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Good question for Keyshot. Thank you, If you both can answer, please. Now that we're in March, both of you as a. <coughs> unique uh, situation that you both have made deep NCAA tournament runs into the Final Four. 
Does that help come this March? I know you have a couple regular season games right Friday, but it's March 1st. Does that help come March, or is every year a different year? And if it does, what does that experience help, and, and how does it help the Wildcats? Uh, first, Caleb, then key shot, please. I believe it helps, obviously, just having that experience, knowing what it takes to get there. Obviously, me and Keisha fell short, but you know we know what it takes to to get there. And you know, obviously, this is a different team, and you know it's a lot of different you know concepts and coaching wise, and uh, different. You got to move the pieces around, but I think we got a you know a chance to do it. Uh, we got a great uh, camaraderie about us, and you know this team is special as far as you know our you know teamwork, our you know de uh, details, um, you know our our scout how we pay attention to the scout and things like that. So I feel like, you know, we got the we got the guys to do it and, you know, once we, you know, put it all together and, you know, coach always says we're in build we're in build mode right now and get better mode. So um that's what we you know continue to do throughout this this course of this uh, rest of the season. You know, similar to what Caleb said, just being being vets, being somebody that's been there, we all really much know what it takes to get there. You know, even Omar went with the, uh, in his Gonzaga days. So we all got the experience of just touching that floor, you know, getting that that dream like experience, you know, and we know that um, we can't take no games for granted, you know, anything can happen. So um, just try to install that into our younger guys who probably like may not know that one little thing could like could cost the game. So you know, um, we just could be in their ear, you know, saying that we got to go for, it. you know, we got to stay locked in throughout the course of the six, the six uh, games, you know. I mean, uh, however many games it is. And then um, you know, if like if you look at all the NBA finals teams that that won championships, you know, they always had like a vet on there. But right now we got um four four or five seniors that can really install that into into the younger guys that that like, you know, we know what it takes to win. So I feel like we our odds is in our hands. What follow up if, if, sorry, for either of you, which are ones you want to what take what what do you think makes a final four team? Sorry, what do you think makes a final four team? Um, is, it, is it chemistry? Is it getting hot late? A little bit of luck of the draw in the brackets? Either one of you can take it. What do you think makes a Final Four team? It's everything. It's everything that, everything that you could think of, um, whether it's chemistry, luck, whether it's taking care of your body, you know, um, being able to make sacrifices when the time comes, you know, faith, uh, most important. Um, so all that plays, plays into the role into making your dream come true at the, end of, uh, at the beginning of April. Uh, think back to when you were in the portal and you were deciding where to go. What was it about Tommy, a coach who had never been a head coach, uh, made you want to come here? Like, what did he do to, to convince you? Uh, basically, just his him being himself. Like the community here loves him because he he is who he is. He's a honest guy, and uh, you can tell that right away from the first couple of conversations and. Just uh, the way that we play at Arizona is the biggest thing. Like it was a basketball decision at the end of the day, so uh, everything was about basketball, and he had the right kind of uh, way of thinking about it. And the guys that were here were already bought into it too. And and I knew Omar was going to come too, and he was going to make some big steps. So it was all pieces coming together. Yeah, and for Omar, was Tommy the one who recruited you to Gonzaga? Nope. Okay. Did he have to re-recruit you to come here? A little bit, but you know, I already know that I was gonna, you know, come here because when I was in high school, Arizona was among my top three schools. And when Tommy got a job, I was like, I think it just worked out perfectly. So I just followed him. And Greg, um, you were here for the the last year of of Sean Miller's time here. What, if anything, has been different about that? I know that was such a weird year because there were no fans or anything like that. Does does do you even have any memories of that year? Yeah, obviously, I loved that year, and it was great memories, but it was different. You know, we weren't allowed to go to the tournament. There were no fans. I'd definitely say just, you know, when Tommy's here, guys are closer. You know, the fans being here, I think, just brings a, a better aspect of playing here. Did you play with any of Sean Miller's sons at South Florida? Yeah, I played with Braden. Braden. Yeah. Did you know Sean Miller from that? Yeah, and then uh, my high school coach was Jim Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds' dad. Yeah, when you reflect back on that freshman year, I mean, after having been here as a kid, were, and then you finally get out there, was it just, and then the, it's closed and cardboard fans, and I mean, like, was it just, were you were you second guessing like the whole experience, or did you figure it would ultimately become what, what, it, what it's been? No, like? yeah, I was happy when I was here. You no, know, I made some great friends, and 
you know, it was different, but I think everyone everywhere was different that year. So, but I knew I knew it would work out then, and it has, luckily. Are you, uh, you, you feed off the fans at McHale. You know, you're, you have a lot of friends, obviously, in the student body. And they, they cheer for you with free throws and everything like that. If tomorrow is your last game at McHale, what will you remember about playing here? The fan, honestly, because I've seen them, you know, rooting for us, like when we were low and when we were high. And, and if tomorrow is my last game, the one thing that I'm going to miss will be, you know, one more walk out of that tunnel, tu tunnel and then see the fans and how Michael be rocking, because this place is special. Um, so all, all four of you guys, except Grant, started your college career somewhere else. Could you go, I just wanted, if I could ask each of the four of you guys, what piece do you feel like, looking back on it, not that, you know, at this point anyway, that Arizona's kind of brought you either on the court or off the court or, or both? Just like, you know, from this experience, what, do you, what have you, what has changed you or impacted you? Uh, the, I'd say the culture. Uh, for one thing, the culture here is uh, second to none. What Coach Lloyd has done with this team as far as um, building us and bringing us together, um, working on our culture each and every day, uh, as far as, you know, just when we started, when we went to Israel, our foreign trip, I think that really brought us together and we really got to know each other personally. And then from uh, then on, we've just been, you know, close and tight. And then just another thing, just like how much we love each other and care for each other's success. Uh, you see, uh, you know, we happy for, you know, each, each and every one of our su success and, um, you know, we want each and every one of us to succeed. So I just think that's, that's big and uh, as far as this team because, you know, we, I think that's going to take us a long way, us being so close. You kind of talked a little, uh, or referred a little bit, but yeah, what about you? You know, again, so many years at San Diego State, but what's this one year here kind of done for you, would you say, looking back at this um, point? Most of all, it's the diversity. You know, um, the diversity on this team is is you know it's kind it's kind of wild. You know, everybody from different places, but we all gel together well. Like you know, and like Caleb said, the culture. You know, whether it's from between us, you know, all the guys building together from um, from the, from scratch, or it's from the the uh, longevity of the alumni coming in and talking to us and you know, just educating us on what they went through and, and like what uh, Arizona and Tucson mean to them. So um, just overall, just the, auth the authenticity of just Arizona basketball, Arizona sports in general, you know, what, what the Block A means. So um, I would say, like, like Caleb said, a second to none, nobody in the world. And Marmel, uh, same question for you guys. You've been here three years, of course, but like, you know, uh, what, what's kind of your biggest takeaway about, about here, you know, either on or off the court? Really? Yeah, I mean, I think three years uh, from when you're uh, 19, 20 years old is like pr probably some of the most impactful years in your life. And so I think it's just shaped us as men for the future and how you act and uh, carry yourself and how you treat others. And uh, I mean, honestly, Arizona and the guys that I play with have taken my like love for basketball to a whole whole another level, uh, so I'm I'm forever grateful and forever in debt to this place. Same thing, honestly. Uh, when I left Gonzaga, you know I didn't know much like about basketball that much, you know. But when I came here, I see the fan, I see how the city was behind us, and then you know that also took my basketball to another level. And coaching staff helping me take care of myself as a person and then as a basketball player that helped me a lot and, and I'm grateful for this city I'm grateful for for Arizona basketball and, and Grant would you say have you now that you've been such a part of this program in, in two different years kind of like has it been different than you thought as a kid growing up but anything that that you didn't realize going in now that you've been through this experience that no I could just say that you know you see the fans from a different angle when you're on the team and you know how much they love the city and how much they love the team. And obviously, uh, it's nice being here and you have your closest friends on the team. So that's something that I probably never would have expected. Caleb, how do you reflect on the last calendar year? Because obviously, it's been a whirlwind for you in particular. But now you're, you're here where your feet are and you're going to play your, uh, maybe your last game in McHale tomorrow. But uh, then get ready for a tournament run with a team that uh, you didn't even know you'd be on a year ago. I just, you know, want to thank God 
you know, just by the grace of his, you know, glory. And I give him all the glory for, you know, uh, you know, blessing me with this opportunity. And, you know, I want to thank my teammates and my coaches because, you know, without them, I wouldn't, you know, be having the season that I'm having right now. They put me in position to succeed. They, you know, they, they I don't even think they know how much, you know, what they did to my family and I, uh, the fans, you know, um, just embracing me and accepting me as a as a person, and uh, you know, not, not you know having any pre preconceived notions about me. Uh, obviously, about you know what happened at you know North Carolina, but uh, I just I'm so grateful for them, and you know I just want to thank them because without them, like I said, this wouldn't be a thing. Do, do you guys have like a specific game throughout your Arizona career that sticks with you? Um, at least I know it's been one year for you guys, but for the three of you. Um, You've been here for quite a few years. Is there a specific game that sticks with you um, as your Arizona career? I would say our uh, run in Maui. Unfortunately, we beat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, that 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 weekend was something that really uh, will stick with me for the rest of my days because it was such a great environment and got to play against one of the best teams in the nation and also winning the championship that was something that that would stick with me for a long time yeah i think i'd say it's a couple like every team that uh me and know have played with here has been so different uh, so it's hard to like even compare and choose one so i'd say there's uh, a couple each year when we made the tournament for the first time uh, and Maui last year, and uh, we've had great memories this year too uh, at different arenas, and and uh, hopefully they'll only get better. So, for me, I say um, preseason Michigan State game. Um, you know, we're still fresh as as a group, you know, but I feel like that solidified like that like our our brotherhood, you know, that game coming out with that win, and also the Wisconsin game. Um, those two games. Everybody was just uh, locked in. We've been locked in all year from there, but those really, those like that was our foundation right there. If I can ask you about tomorrow's game, you guys. I mean, all this stuff that you're, all this emotion, senior day, et cetera, but also Oregon coming in, a team that you know right on the bubble. I'm, you know, <coughs> being pretty good up there. I'm sure they're, you know, going to be pretty motivated. How, how does that strike you having to do that, or is that a good thing that you, you're playing a? you know, what, what could be a really good game? I mean, Oregon's a great team. Uh, you know, they're well coached. Um, you know, they got good players on their team, and, you know, we respect them as a whole. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, it is our senior night, and, uh, you know, we definitely don't uh, – uh, last game in McHale this season, you don't want to, you know, leave on a, uh, a bad note. So we're going to do everything in our power to, you know, uh, get the win. and. Um, you know, I know our team is ready. Uh, we've, we've been, you know, ready all year um, with, you know, knowing the scout and uh, preparing for each and every game. And I think obviously it's senior night, but I feel like, you know, we're mature enough to, you know, settle in, let the emotions settle in and, uh, you know, play the game like we've been playing all year. Do you expect Oregon, I mean, obviously you have, a, there's tons of different weapons on this team, but do you expect, especially after the game you had up there, do you expect they're going to, Trying to do something different with you or anything defensively? Uh, I'm not sure, but but you know whatever we do, we got you know good great guys on our team, and um, you know it's not just me on the team. Uh, we got you know killers everywhere, so um, you can stop me, but you can't stop everybody else. So uh, we'll see. Last question, Pella. Um, as someone who came in, you know, with Tommy, I uh, just wanted to ask a big picture question about how you've seen this program's foundation grow and how you would describe the program's foundation moving forward. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's grown with us, you know. Uh, I think uh, Tommy has done a great job kind of bringing uh, former players into it uh, with us, and we've gotten to meet so many good people uh, that have come before us, and that really built a deeper connection for us and for them. Uh, so I think uh, that part of the culture has really grown and become stronger. Uh, and then also hopefully uh, we become that next layer of foundation for you know guys uh, uh, coming in uh, next year and the guys that are already here that keep building. So hopefully 
you know, one day they'll say that, all right, these guys built this for us. We got to cherish it uh, and and uh, and keep building. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.